There is a lot of bacteria growing on the surface of this phone, stuff I don't even want to think about. But this gadget right here will supposedly kill it using UV light. I'm a little skeptical, so what better way to test it out than in a microbiology lab? I have got some new tech here called the Phone Soap. Now, supposedly what it does is it acts as a bit of a miniature tanning bed for your mobile phone and kills a lot of the nasty stuff that apparently lives on our phone. Mm. You're a man who knows a little bit about bacteria from what I hear, and I kind of want to put this to the test. What do you think? You think something like that could work? Well, Lucas, you know, UV light's been used for a long, long time to kill microorganisms. But to put it in a small box like this and to actually have it work, yeah, it's possible, but I'm a bit skeptical. Well, James, I happen to have a pair of phones. You got a lab coat. Let's put it to the test. Okay, James, got my samples. Put them on the Petri dish, wrapped it up in tin foil to keep it nice and fresh, just like you said. What do we do next? Got to put them in the incubator, grow them out. And then we'll close the door and we'll come back tomorrow. James and back, what are we looking at? Okay, so we took the cultures that came from your various sources, and uh, these are the purified cultures. Well, what are the bad things that each of these samples could have? Okay, so for example, this first one, this is the toilet bacterium. This first one is really closely related to the bacterium that causes hamburger disease. You know what that is? No. Okay, so hamburger disease is a kind of food poisoning that you get if you eat undercooked hamburger. That's something you don't want to do because it'll make you really sick. So this next bacterium, this is the one that came from your nose. Some of them can cause diseases like boils. There are even some that can cause diseases like flesh eating disease. So you don't want that either. From my nose? Well, that's where they live. Wow. And then this one, so this is the one that came off of your shoe that can cause diseases like pneumonias in people in hospitals who are really sick for other reasons. It can cause uh, blood infections and things like that. Was it safe to say that we have these on our phones on the regular basis? Well, we do, and you know, for most people who are in normal good health, that's okay. But some of the bacteria, you probably don't want those hanging around. So here are your two phones, and uh, we've got them set up in a rack so that we can spray them with our solution of bacteria. So then we'll be able to compare between the two and see what the phone soap does. Okay, so this is the big test. Now we're going to put this phone into the phone soap that we've got already here set up. And closing it, we'll turn on the UV light and it'll turn on the little blue light. Then when the blue light goes off in the front, our phone should be ready to test. So Lucas, your phone soap has finished its cycle. The test is gonna be to see if there's any microbes that are still alive on the surface of the phone. How do you do that? Well, we're going to take this Petri dish. Now, in this Petri dish is a medium that will allow the microbes that we put on the phone to grow, if they're still there. And we're just gonna flip that upside down and we're gonna take a fingerprint. And then we're gonna do the same for the control. And now that we've got that, we need to wrap those up, just like the Petri dishes that we had before. Okay. And put them in the incubator overnight one more time. Ah, another day? Science takes a long ah. time, Lucas. James, day three, hey, day hey, three. Lucas. This might sound a little nerdy, but I had trouble sleeping last night. I can't wait to see how this works well, out. Well, this is pretty exciting. I'm really interested in this too, because you know, at first when I heard about this phone soap thing, I was pretty skeptical. So I think my skepticism might just be real. Let's find out, man. Okay, we'll see. So I'll let you do the honors. Okay. Oh, Ooh. yeah, so we've got, we've got some bacteria there on the control. I see we've got some blue ones from the boot, some red ones from the toilet, and some white ones from the nose, so. Oh, that's gross. So yeah, that stuff could gross. be living on, that was living on a phone. That's what came from the control phone. Cool. How did the phone soap do? Whoa. Whoa, <laughs> look at that, there's nothing there at all. It's blank. It's blank. Okay, well I have to say that surprises me, because I thought there'd at least be a little bit of stuff. Yeah, there's nothing there at all, not even a little colony. Look at that. So, wow. The UV totally wiped it out. It completely did, even on the edges. Look at that. Nothing at all. How often would you have to do this as soon as I pick the phone back up? Has it just got the bacteria right away again? Yeah, of course. You know, the more you handle it, the more bacteria it'll start to accumulate. You know, your phone's not going to stay sterile. So now, I'm assuming for the people that are habitual bathroom users of their smartphone, they'd probably want to use it every day? Yeah, well, um, if you can't convince them not to take their phone into the bathroom, then they might want to think about 
maybe putting their phone soap in the bathroom. <laughs> and I have to say, I'm, I'm surprised. It worked far better than I expected. So uh, I might go out and buy myself a phone soap and, and put it in my bathroom. A bathroom user. There I knew go. it. <laughs>